Whenever I see this Unity's Book of the Dead demo project, the only thing comes in my mind is that how did they made it? How did they achieve such a realistic graphics in Unity? So I started learning more about this new high definition rendering pipeline which is used in this demo project and I learned a lot of things to achieve realistic graphics. So I'm starting a whole new series about this HD render pipeline. In this series I will cover all the different aspects of this new rendering pipeline including real time and bake lighting, post processing and making photorealistic materials. So let's start with the introduction of this HD pipeline series. There are two ways to implement this high definition render pipeline in your project. First one is when you make a new project you can select this high definition HP template and this will make a demo project with all the necessary settings. You can explore this demo scene to learn how this pipeline is used or if you are already working in a project and want to implement this HD pipeline then go to package manager and click on advance and show preview packages and choose this high definition RP and install or update from here. Keep in mind that this package is still in preview mode so there may be some issues so please ignore them. After implementing this package you will see that nothing has changed because we are still using the default rendering pipeline. So to change from default to high definition render pipeline go to asset, right click, rendering and choose high definition rendering pipeline asset. I change the name to HDRP. This asset is basically a collection of different types of lighting and rendering features which you can add or remove according to your requirement. Just go to edit, project setting and graphics and select this HDRP asset in this scriptable render pipeline setting and suddenly you will notice that everything has changed to pink because Unity's standard material is not supported by this pipeline. We also need to change the color space from gamma to linear in order to work in this pipeline. So for that go to file, build setting, player setting and change this color space to linear. This pipeline uses a HD render pipeline lit shader. So we need to convert all the materials to this new lit material. You can go to every material and change them from standard to this lit material and reapply all the texture maps. Wait, seriously? Don't worry, Unity has also provided a solution for that. You go to edit and render pipeline and choose this upgrade project material to high definition material. And it will automatically convert all the materials to high definition materials for you. And now you can see all the materials are perfectly visible in the scene. If you still see any pink object in the scene, then you need to convert their material manually. Alright, you might be thinking that even after switching to the HD pipeline, there are not any graphics improvement in the scene. The reason why it is still looking very basic because we haven't used any feature of this new pipeline which resides in its material and render settings. I can't show you all the features in just one video, that's why I am making a series instead of a single video. However, I can show you some cool things of this new render pipeline. If you go to this new lit material, you can see that it supports both opaque and transparent surface along with different types of base material using which you can make any kind of complex material very easily. I will cover all these properties in more detail in a different video. One more cool thing is this new rendering scene setting. This will add some more advanced feature like different types of sky and folk system in your scene. You can also add more feature like screen space reflection, refraction, contacts and micro shadows from this button. For example, to use HDRI environment in your scene, just paste the HDRI in the asset folder and change the texture shape to cube and hit apply. This will automatically make a nice cube map which you can directly use in your scene setting. To use this cube map, go to scene setting and change the sky type to HDRI and add a HDRI sky override component from here. You can also enable disable its option by clicking on this all and none buttons and select your cube map in this HDRI section. Voila! Now you have a shiny beautiful environment in your scene. You can also change HDRI sky's intensity and rotation from here. You can download these different types of HDRI from HDRI Heaven website which has some really cool HDR images which are absolutely free. Unity has also improved its lights in this new render pipeline. All the lights are now physically accurate. These lights have various new features like color temperature and different kind of real world intensity parameters. You can now quickly make a cool volumetric light effect by using this volumetric parameter. Simply enable this parameter then go to scene setting and change the fog type to volumetric and add a volumetric fog override component from here. First set this based fog distance to 0 then gradually increase this value until you find a desired result. You can also adjust the height and distance according to your need. 
This pipeline also have a debug window which you can now access by going window analysis and render pipeline debug. Here you will find different options to debug your lighting and rendering. For example in this lighting tab you can see different type of element of your scene like AO, reflection, refraction etc. You can also override all the materials albedo, normal and other features directly from here. There are so many features in this window so feel free to play with this. Okay, that's it for this video. Actually, there are a lot of things which I want to show you, but I can't cover them in a single video. Otherwise, this will all messed up. I will cover other features in a particular light scenario like interior or exterior so that you can understand them better. I hope you will like the series. If you have any queries, feel free to ask me in the comment section. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of the next video and of course to support this channel. I wish you a very happy Christmas. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video.